Our very first tip is going to be about PDF portfolios. A PDF portfolio is basically a collection of files from different sources within a PDF, which makes it incredibly simple to email or download. They can be useful if you're wanting to package a variety of documents from different sources. Maybe you have a PDF and a Word document and an Excel document that you want to be able to send to someone. You could be a company wanting to be able to easily send samples of your work to possible clients, or even a teacher that needs to have a week off and you want to send a homework package out to your students. Adobe Acrobat PDF portfolios can allow you to do this. This PDF portfolio was created in Acrobat 10 and it's a great preview into the kinds of things you can do in the new version of Acrobat. But today we're going to be creating our portfolio in Acrobat 9. So we just head up here to File, down to Create PDF Portfolio, and a wizard will appear. A wizard is a part of a program that takes you step by step through something that would usually be quite difficult. So really they're just making your life a little bit easier, which is nice. It's a good idea before you start your PDF portfolio to put aside a folder containing all the files that you intend on putting into your portfolio. This just speeds up the process a little bit. Now here's my little pre-made folder with all the PDFs that I want in my portfolio. Uh, like I said before, they don't have to be PDFs, they can be Word documents or Excel documents, maybe even images, there's plenty of things you can pop into a PDF portfolio. Once you've got to this point, there's a little button down the bottom left here that says Add Files. Now you click on that and a window will pop up. You then navigate through your computer to the folder that you pre-prepared earlier with all your files. And from here you select which files you'd like in your portfolio. Now you can click on the top file, hold down shift and then click on the bottom file and that will select all of them. You can also click on one file and then hold down control or command if you're on a Mac and select specific files that you're wanting to put in. Then click open and Acrobat will combine all your selected files into your PDF portfolio format. Now it's time for some customization. Now if you head over to the right, you'll find a panel here called Basic Layouts, where you select how your PDF portfolio looks to your end user or the person that you send your PDF portfolio when they open it up. So you've got a basic grid here view if you're wanting something extra, extra simple. There's also Grid with File Preview. So the name of all the documents will come up on the left panel here, and then on the right you'll get a full preview of each individual file as it's selected. There's a few more in here like sliding row which is quite cool. You can navigate through them from left to right and whatnot. Um, I'm going to go with revolve though because I think it looks quite snazzy and professional. Now down to the next customization tool which is add welcome and header just down the bottom on the right there. Here you can add a welcome page which pops up every time someone opens up your PDF portfolio for viewing. You might want to pop a cover letter in there or something like that. There's also a header which will be displayed up the top of your PDF portfolio just here and will stay there throughout the entire time your PDF portfolio is viewed. Now we're going to head down on the right here to select a colour scheme. Now when it comes to colour schemes it's a really good idea to think about what kind of look that you're going for and what kind of look relates to your PDF portfolio. So if you're doing a PDF portfolio for a homework package about being environmentally friendly, maybe you want to go for like a nice green. If it's more of sort of a financial report, maybe a nice gunmetal grey, there's plenty of things you can do. So try and make sure it relates to your company or the subject of your PDF portfolio. You can adjust the colours to get more of the colour that you want. I'm going to click here on blue because it's similar to our company's corporate colours. If you click on one of the squares down here, you can adjust what kind of blue you're getting. So I want to go for a, maybe a bit darker than that. Maybe you can adjust this here as well. I'm okay with that. And there's a little bit about colours. You can also adjust the titles that are displayed underneath each PDF. So let's just scroll through here. Uh, don't really like all that punctuation in this title here. So if you just double click on the title and then adjust it. I don't need that word example in there, we'll just delete that as well. If you press enter on your keyboard, it'll set. 
and that's all done. Now, one important thing to note is that whoever you send your PDF portfolio to does not need to have Acrobat Pro to be able to view the portfolio. A program called Adobe Reader is used to open up PDFs. Most computers have this program, but if you don't, it's quick and easy to download it from adobe.com and it's absolutely free. So virtually anyone can view your portfolio and that's the beauty of PDF portfolios. Now lastly, I'm going to save my PDF portfolio. Now if you head down here to the bottom right where it says publish and click there, you have an option to email your PDF portfolio straight away. But it's good to check over things before you send them out, so we're just going to save it straight to our desktop. So if we head up here to file, save portfolio as, then navigate to where we would like to save our portfolio. I'm just going to call it portfolio 1. And click save. Now let's check our PDF portfolio out. We'll just close this and open it up. Look at that. So there's our very first of our top 10 Adobe Acrobat tips, PDF portfolios.